Good morning. I just got to work. It is Monday, so happy Monday. Today is Monday Makeup Chats episode four, and I'm realizing that last week when I filmed this video, I didn't do an intro. So I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for being here. I love making these videos. I love when you comment. These have been really fun, so I'm loving this series. I did want to say really quick today, I chat about a couple things, but one of the things I talk about is a little bit vulnerable. I talk about kind of a hard moment as a mom. So Part of me literally wanted to cut that entire section out when I was editing thinking, you know, I don't want judgment. I don't want people thinking I don't love my daughter. Like clearly I'm obsessed with my daughter. I'm just trying to keep it real. Like I, I can't imagine I'm the only mom that has these moments, right? So I love connecting with people on YouTube, connecting with other moms on YouTube or Instagram, whatever it is. And I just feel like leaving that part in is important because there's probably one person who needs to hear it and needs to know they're not alone. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get started. Tuesday, May 2nd. For me, it's my dad's birthday. Yesterday, my husband had to work, which isn't normal on Monday, so I had to record it today. Daycare is closed the first part of the week this week, so my daughter's with my mom today, just for the morning time, because my mom travels and my stepdad, and they're gonna leave for three weeks, so they wanted to see her, and I thought, perfect. I'll be able to film a few videos, maybe clean up a little bit around the house. I feel annoying. I think it's because I film on Tuesdays a lot when the cleaning ladies are here. I feel like I'm always talking about the cleaning ladies. And I just feel, whenever they leave, like, <sighs> I walk out in my house, and it just reminds me of my old life. I used to just clean and things stayed that way and there was calmness and for me now with my daughter being so mobile you know she's a year and a half obviously there's so many great things about being a mom and having a daughter and I'm not trying to complain at all it just is very rare that the entire house is clean and so Tuesdays every other week are like one of my favorite times and there's no just shit everywhere you know what I mean <laughs> there's no shit everywhere <laughs> So like I said, today is my dad's birthday. He's 54 today. My sister is gonna cook tacos over there and it's gonna be really chill. I'm gonna get some key lime pie or something because he loves that. And other than that, I just have my daughter. I'm off today at Pilates. So I'm honestly just getting ready to film a Monday makeup chat and I think I'm gonna do a Sephora haul today. Film it while my daughter's napping later. I shopped the Sephora VIB sale and I got a ton of cool stuff. So I figured I would do a haul. By now you'll see videos from last week up. I feel bad because as I'm filming this, I think my last video was my Monday makeup chat and it was eight days ago and it's just because I've had a little bit of a cough and we've had a busy week and my daughter had really bad allergies and so I just kind of kept feeling like I didn't have time to make a video. I got my nails done yesterday finally, aren't they? So cute. Same thing, my poor nail tech got like really mad allergies and had to cancel her appointment or my appointment with her. So I was looking really rough with my nails there for a minute, but I'm just so grateful to have them all cute again. I feel like having your nails, obviously it's such a extra luxury thing, but I feel like my life is way more together when my nails are nice. I kind of wanted to try out this primer. You know this e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer? I got it and I think I used it like once. So I need to play with it again today. So I've been doing like a brown half winged liner for like a week. I don't know why I just get on these kicks where I wear the same makeup and I love it. And it's just very wearable, but it also gives your eyes that more just lifted look, but it's still super soft because it's brown. So that's what <laughs> I'm going to be doing today. Oh, my vision board. I made a video making my vision board. I was so happy to finally get it done in April. Oh my gosh. But it was so fun. I like had the afternoon quiet because my daughter was napping and I just had such a good time. I like made a snack play and had some champagne. So if you missed that video, if that sounds like something you're into, I'll link it below. It was very inspiring. I don't have it hung. I think I told you in the last video, I'm really wanting to switch my daughter into this room. And so I don't want to hang any other, you know, holes in the wall for no reason because my husband is on vacation next week. And I think we're going to try to switch the rooms next week so exciting so how have you been i'm so i just love making these makeup chat videos these monday makeup chats because it feels like i'm talking to real people clearly like i'm sitting in my room by myself talking to a camera <laughs> as if you don't know but i'm just like i'm sitting in my room there's a camera a ring light so i got so many comments on the last video for me i felt like it was a lot of comments about what you were grateful for and it was such awesome energy just sitting there reading it it was like i'm grateful for my dog i'm grateful for my kids just on and on and it just made me so happy i still have to go back and reply because a lot of times i was like at work or something and i would just get the little notification but i would always take the minute to sit there and like read what it said i just love it because it makes it feel more like i'm talking to you 
not just a camera. So I hope you feel that way as well. I'm looking really pale compared to my net calm. We'll warm it up. Last year at this point, my daughter was like four or five months old. I was still a different weight. I was still breastfeeding, so my boobs were way bigger. I was just a different size is my point in all this. <laughs> so this year, I kind of, I've been working a lot and I thought it's time to splurge. Like I haven't bought a bunch of new clothes in a while. I'll buy something here or there, you know? I didn't get like a crazy amount of stuff. My husband probably thinks so, but I just got like a few things off Amazon, a few things off ASOS, a few things off Abercrombie. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just shop and I just buy pieces that are cute and then I still feel like I have nothing to wear. So one thing I did a little bit different this time is I went on Pinterest and I looked at some of the outfits I had pinned. Like I, I made a whole spring Pinterest board. I'll link my Pinterest below too because I'm obsessed with Pinterest. And if you want to be Pinterest friends, let's do it. I tried to basically find things that were like my Pinterest outfits. If they're not exact, they were definitely like inspired by, you know? And I think that was really fun because now when I get it all in, like all the pieces, some of it still isn't here yet. I want to do a video. I saw Delaney Childs do it and I, I love her. Um, she did a video like Pinterest inspired outfits. And so I thought that would be so fun. So I think I'm going to do that kind of a video coming up. That way I can kind of do a double. Like I can show you all the new stuff I got and how to style it. One thing I did too is I would pin because you know how you can use Pinterest and like if you scroll down, it'll bring you similar pins to that one you're on. I did that with certain pieces that I liked and so it showed you like different ways to style it and I thought that was really cute and then of course I can put my own little spin on it. My favorite thing to do is like buy really feminine stuff. I've liked this forever. Like a flowery dress but then pair it with like, which I didn't put in earrings, more like edgy earrings and like a black chunky sandal or something like that. Mixing like edgy and feminine is always my favorite. In spring, it's really easy to do because everything's like pastel and floral and those right colors to mix with the black to make it edgy. So I don't know. I sometimes feel like I'm not going anywhere to like get dressed up cute. So I also did get a lot of like loungewear that I think is going to be relatable for people to actually wear too. So yeah, make sure you subscribe because I'm definitely, like I said, my husband's on vacation next week and we have a lot we want to do as far as like house projects, but also it's a little bit easier for me to film when he's home. I always say Danny's on vacation and people are like, where are you going? When you work for Cal Fire, like my husband, you can take like up to 12 weeks a year for vacation. So a lot of times we're not going anywhere. He's just taking it to be off for the week with the family. So if you're confused, that's what that means. Cause people always ask me that like my clients at work and stuff like, Oh, your husband's on vacation. Where are you going? Nowhere home. But anyways, like if she wakes up from her nap a little early and I'm filming and I'm the only one here, like I get interrupted. Whereas if he's home, I could have that little buffer. You know what I mean? So I plan to make some videos next week more than normal. And I'm really excited. I love this Dior blush. It's so springy. This is the pink one. And I actually got the coral one in the Sephora haul, but I haven't unpacked it yet. So I can't use it in today's video. Let's do the eyes. So, so I'm not even wearing eyeshadow lately. Like what I've been doing, cause I spend time on the liner instead of so much eyeshadow is I will take a bronzer, whatever bronzer I used. Just get your biggest brush and I just use bronzer. And the only reason I'm needing anything at all is <clears throat> you know, you have color on your face and like nothing. I love using my painterly paint pot to cancel out any veins on my eye, but then it can look all one color and no dimension. And so you kind of need to add that shadow back in if that makes sense. So I'll go in just really roughly. <laughs> with bronzer. And then I'll do the same thing, like kind of take that underneath because I have little fine lines under there. So I find that if I just buff out some bronzer, it camouflages that a bit. I'm trying to think what else to tell you. What else is going on in my life? We're getting ready to go to Mexico. I'm going to Mexico in three and a half weeks. I don't know if I'm taking my daughter. I don't know if my husband's coming. That is like a stressful, again, like the nails. It's like, oh, poor you. You don't know your Mexico trip. Like you're going to Mexico, get over it. But I just mean, um, I was gonna just take my daughter by myself because my husband didn't get vacation for it. The more time that goes by, I'm like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to take her by myself. I'm just using MAC Warm Soul blush on a blush brush and just like dusting it over my eyes. So see what I mean? Like you're not spending any time at all, but it gives your eyes color. So <clears throat> anyways, that's kind of something going on in my life right now, trying to figure out like, am I gonna bring my daughter? I expedited her passport and it's still not here, which I'm not losing hope. We have three and a half weeks still. And I think we got it about a month ago. 
like her appointment and everything. So I'm just taking any brown. You could literally use your brown um, eyeshadow pomade, or <laughs> I cannot talk, eyebrow pomade if you want. But I'm gonna use, this is called Dip Down from MAC. Um, so anyways, yeah, like my husband couldn't go and originally my sister was supposed to go with her daughter, my niece, by herself. And now her husband can go. And so I kind of felt like it went from, okay, I'm gonna be with my sister without her husband and we'll just like be with our babies to now like I'm the only one without husband coming like even my little sisters are both bringing their boyfriends and my dad's bringing his new girlfriend and so I just kind of feel like oh my god I really want my husband to go so we're like trying to figure out a way for him to go or me to leave golden my daughter because it's gonna be so much work like she just doesn't even sit like I was telling you about the coast trip that we just went on like even going to a restaurant is really really hard with her right now because she doesn't sit so just the idea of four or five days traveling to Mexico from California with my one and a half year old by myself it just doesn't sound that fun to me it sounds very stressful to me and so I'm trying to decide what to do are you a mom have you traveled what do you think what's your advice okay so when I make liner this is just a little baby tutorial here like you see I just start kind of at the corner I dip down a little bit and pull it out so you could totally carry this back over and do a full line let's do both sides first actually as you pull out you're gonna want to lift your pressure lighter of your brush that way you get that like feathery wing at the end by the way in your lid of your product i always smush the brush flat and that's how i get like a nice skinny line as well this is a mac 263 i think this is natural hair because this is an old brush now this brush all of mac's brushes are synthetic now so it's going to be a little bit different but it'll still work i just hate that like i cherish these old brushes okay so let me get back I'm constantly switching from my knees to my booty so my legs don't go numb here on the ground you're going to want to lean back and just kind of like mark out where your wing is gonna be. I didn't mean to zoom you back out, but I also wanna be in the frame just like that. I wish I was better at explaining it, but honestly, I kind of, I'm not so great with wing liner since I barely wear it anymore. So that's kind of why I've been wearing it too. I wanna get back to it. And then I just fill in, obviously the triangle, I guess you'd say. And then I want it to be just a little more wispy. I'm just gonna pull it out a little tiny bit more. And honestly, I just kind of stop it halfway. Like I just start getting really low into those lashes. It's even a little bit more than halfway today. All right, <laughs> my camera overheated again like it does. So in the meantime, I put on my powder. I went and put in my earrings so if things look different, that's why. I'm curling my lashes again. So I got my lash lift, I think, about three and a half weeks ago and it definitely still is curlier than normal but I'm noticing because I want really curled lashes I'm starting to curl them again so I think if you got lash lifts it'd be like a monthly thing that you would have to maintain but I really enjoyed it while it was super fresh and I think it's very very cool alternative to getting extensions if you're allergic or you just don't want that maintenance but yeah going back to Mexico I can't remember if I said it but it's my aunt's wedding and it's gotten canceled two other times because it was supposed to be originally back in COVID times. And then she ended up having a baby. So I'm really excited for it and I'm doing her makeup for it. I don't know, I'm just keep thinking like, it's one of those gender role things where it's like, why am I bringing my baby on my vacation without my husband when it's gonna make my life so hard and so stressful when I could just leave her behind with him and we could figure out daycare while she's out, he's at work. Part of me just wants to bring her so she's on the trip with her cousins and obviously I don't necessarily want to leave her and go out of the country but I don't know. I'm like, am I just doing this to prove to myself like, oh, I brought gold into Mexico by myself. Like, look, I can do it. Like, obviously I can do it but I'm also paying a lot of money to go and do I want to do that? <laughs> so that's like the inner conflict I've been going through in my head. So I had a hard, I just got mascara on my lid. Dang it, I'll have to fix that. I just had a hard moment the other day and we've been talking on here all about like your attitude and manifesting and like being grateful and bringing in positive vibes and like attracts like, the law of attraction, the book, The Secret, you know, all these things I've been talking to you about lately and I've been feeling so positive and so good, but I just wanted to share a hard moment I had the other day, just a quick version of it because I still have them and I just feel like social media can sometimes be like, a highlight reel obviously we know this and so I just want people to know like even when I am doing good I was talking to my best friend over the weekend it's like a, it's like a roller coaster because I'll have a bunch of really good days and I'll be having way more good days than hard days but then I'll have a day where I'm shit is hitting the fan what is wrong with today like I hate this you know I hate that I don't have control over myself like I would like to and I'm reacting poorly and all of these things so anyways I want to share it really quick with you 
it was actually last Tuesday, it was a week ago. We had nowhere to be. I'm off on Tuesdays like I've described, you know, but I had to bring my daughter to daycare because she is committed to daycares for four hours every Tuesday morning so that I can do other things. The daycare lady doesn't want kids coming all different times of the day. So I have a window from like 7.45 to 8.30 to drop her off. And so we weren't necessarily in a huge rush, but we did have a time we were trying to get something done by. I usually try to get up and like get myself ready before her because I know she's just into everything right now. She also, like I just was saying in the beginning of the video, we weren't feeling great as a family this last week. Like she was teething and had been having allergies. Her eyes were all goopy, like her nose was running. I knew something was up. Anyways, just like basically long story short, it was just like everything I did, she was having a meltdown. Like I would set her down to brush my teeth, meltdown. I'd pick her up, be brushing my teeth, meltdown. Down. I would put her toothbrush together like okay you're gonna brush your teeth like mama meltdown didn't want to brush her teeth running from me screaming like loud and I've told you before I think that I get overstimulated by noises I'm sure I'm not the only one it's even before I had kids like a lot of noises would really get to me I can't have like the radio on someone talking to me and the TV on over there otherwise I feel like my brain's gonna pop that's what it feels like it just feels like anxiety <laughs> anyways that's only gotten a little bit harder having a a little girl obviously that's kind of what was happening it was like she was having a meltdown screaming over everything we're trying to get out the door i'm feeling overstimulated by all her sounds i couldn't do anything right like i would try to brush her teeth like i said she'd run away and then then when i was like fine we're not gonna brush your teeth then and set it down and like start doing my own thing then she was literally crawling up me to get to her toothbrush and wanted her to brush her teeth so I'd start brushing her teeth and then she'd be cool with that for a minute and then she'd be crying over the next thing. So it was just one of those mornings. I was trying to get dressed because I was in sweatpants and I'm trying to drop her off at daycare. And I mean, I go looking haggard, like kind of when I start the videos, that's how I look. <laughs> I don't even wear makeup a lot of times, but I don't want to go in my sweatpants and messy hair and no makeup, you know? So I tried to get like a yoga pant outfit going on, right? You guys, she was like throwing herself on the floor, melting down. <sighs> And it just got the best of me. I screamed at my daughter. I said, I'm just trying to put on pants. Oh, cause that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get in my dresser and get yoga pants out. And she was pulling all my clothes out of my dresser. And in that moment I like screamed, I'm just trying to put on pants. Like it was almost like a, I was like about to cry. And I had to pick her up and put her in her crib, which is like 10 feet away in her room and shut the door and like listen to her cry. So I could just put on an outfit. And I know that sounds like so simple and probably silly it feels to me like a failure it's like i can't even put on an outfit to get out the door with my daughter without like a million tantrums now like i'm losing my shit like and in the moment if you've had moments like that it feels so intense repeating it back it just sounds silly it's like a matter of 10 minutes or probably more like you know 20 minutes but it just feels so heavy and intense then i go through this whole cycle and i'm just trying to share this with you to describe like when i'm having my postpartum i don't really think it's postpartum depression anymore because i'm i have a year and a half year old but when i'm struggling with feeling down or i'm struggling with anxiety like these are the kinds of moments that hit and they feel so heavy whereas this whole entire situation can happen on a different day and it i could like diffuse it and it could be fine but it's these kinds of moments that are so hard for me sometimes because I start feeling like, oh my God, I just wish I could get dressed. It's not that hard. Like, why can't I just get dressed? And then I start feeling like if she wasn't here crying, I could get dressed. So I remove her and like put her in her crib. But then I feel like a failure because I'm having to like not take care of my daughter in the way that I want. Who wants to throw their baby in her crib, you know? But it's like, she's safe there. Like that's what I've been told by my mom and like, you know, other women. If you're having a moment where you need to set a five minute timer, get calm because you need to be calm for your baby and so I totally get it but it's never fun when it reaches that point where you feel like you're losing your control of yourself and you have to do that like no one wants to do that I'm sure some moms out there are watching like girl I do this every day like I have to do that I have four kids or something I, I need a moment all the time and it's like not a big deal but I'm a new mom like this is still something I'm navigating and so when I have moments where I feel like I've gotten to that last resort i don't like it and then i like i said i've been trying to say the sentence and i don't think i finished it because of me wanting her for so long i feel part of me just wants to get rid of that like okay cool you struggle with infertility but you have her now like it's fine but i feel like that's just always a part of me like it was a part of my journey right so it's like stuck in there and then i feel like so much guilt because i know there's parents who are people who want to be parents that never were able to 
and they would die for a scream just to have a screaming baby they just want any baby you know what I mean so then I feel like guilty for getting so frustrated with my daughter so I just I when that happened last week I was like reflecting on it after and literally every morning getting out the door since then has been totally fine I've done a lot of like little research and reflecting on like how I could have done differently that day and so let me put my lips on Hang on, let me take a minute. This is Dervish from MAC. I always feel like it's a pretty, it's a pretty one that I forget about. It's just like an easy pink. I think a few videos ago I showed you how I had gotten a bunch of Back to MAC lipsticks because they were canceling doing that like as of the end of March. Well, I got Angel, which was like one of the first makeup products I had from MAC was, I think it was Cream Cup was my first MAC lipstick, but Angel was closely following and they're very similar. It's like a frosty, cute spring pink isn't that pretty <laughs> oh my gosh angel so yeah um since then that night i literally went down a rabbit hole on youtube like what to do for toddler tantrums like ways to handle toddler tantrums better because that's what it was i felt like she lost her shit needed me and wanted me but then like wasn't happy with anything i was doing and then i lost my shit like in a nutshell that's like what happened right <laughs> So <clears throat> it was all like the video I found, like, I'll link it if I can find which one I used, but it was all about like giving them options and choices, not too many to overwhelm them, but like, do you want this or that? Like handing them for breakfast, like holding two things out. So I tried that one guys, and some days it works and some days it doesn't. Some days she'll get pissed and want both things. <laughs> so I just give her both things, but I'm testing them out, you know, as a new mom, like, okay, but the main thing that I think has worked that I found in that video, warning them, like explaining everything you're doing, which I kind of already narrate our life to her all day, just because I feel like that helps her grow and like learn English, right? Like, okay, we're gonna go make lunch now. Mama's getting the bread out. Oh, you love peanut butter. I'm gonna put peanut butter on the bread. Like I literally tell her what we're doing a lot of the time. That's just kind of how I talk to her. The video was encouraging that you do that even more. Like before I would, be getting the toothbrush and say, okay, we're gonna brush your teeth like right when I was ready to do it. Now we'll be downstairs and I'm like, okay, let's go upstairs. We're gonna brush your teeth because we're getting ready to go. Are you excited? We're gonna brush your teeth. Mom's gonna brush her teeth and like all the way up the stairs, give her a warning and get her excited about the task. So that way, once the task is happening, it's not a freaking meltdown. And it's crazy how just maybe that extra 30 seconds of warning, I have gotten such good reactions from my daughter doing it this way. So if you have kids that are toddlers, try it out if you've been having meltdowns, because I think it's obviously just a, just a part of <clears throat> their development right now they they want their independence and they can't necessarily communicate to us very well they don't want to do what we're making them do but i don't know i feel like explaining it and giving them warning and stuff really has been helping i wish you could smell this through the camera this is florental vanilla from dossier florental vanilla it's like warm and rich but it's also got a little bit of that freshness because it has jasmine orange blossom pink pepper mandarin in it like that citrusy stuff that i love but it has cedarwood vanilla coffee i love jasmine and stuff too it just feels like it feels like winter turning into spring which is perfect because that's what the weather has been like right now and i love it so much and that's like 30 or 40 dollars so i will also link dossier's website i love them i got this sweatshirt at target and i have to show you it too because i love it it's cropped and it has this little boning right here i'm wearing a medium i could probably do a small but even when it's unzipped like it just it pinches in right there and i think it's very flattering and really cute and it's thicker than i thought it would <coughs> be like it's a really nice good material It's 11.32. I'm going to go get my baby girl from my parents' house, put her down for her nap. I hope you enjoyed this Monday makeup chat. Thank you so much. I love making these. I think they're just fun and easy to film. So I appreciate you watching them and leaving me comments and just chatting and getting to know you better. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, this little brown liner and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.